Yeah, something happened. I've already made this video, but the audio didn't capture on OBS. Yeah, that sucked. But yeah, I'm, I'm making this video for the second time now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix error code 25237, which gives the error message D returned invalid max result text from pf command smart pre-render. So the main problem here is that probably the text layer, as you can see, returned an invalid res result from the text layer. I'm not so familiar with this error and it's not giving that much information. But the first thing you want to try is you should check on what frame it stopped like when you render your project. So I'm going to pause on uh, the frame where it shows this text, best songs at the moment part 2. So here I'm in frame 23. So if you go to your project uh, and then go to frame 23, when you render, you can see what uh, frame it is. In my case, I'm using 24 frames per second. Uh, if it goes to like 24 uh, frames, that's like one second. But here I'm like, let's say 0 0.5 seconds. So when you stop the queue and then you go like a half second before it is. So it's something like here. Yeah, that's where the frame stopped. And then you should check on the layer and what effects are used. Then it stopped at that layer. And you should delete the effects on the layer. I know it's not fun. It's obvious and that's the best solution for your problem. The other solution is to try to switch the acceleration mode. You can find the video on the top right. The video link is also in the description. The last thing I'll try is to act export it as, as an .mov file and then just convert it to mp4 again. You can firstly download VLC, it's 100% free and to sort of First you gotta like export, first you go here and then format, you choose QuickTime, format option, Apple ProS 422, then it exports as .mov and it's like a, a very high quality so that's fine. As you can see it's exporting as .mov. So you gotta uh, render it now. When you've rendered the video you go to VLC download. And then go here on this first link and then download VLC. And click, uh, when you've activated the setup, then click yes. And then you go next, next, ne next, and then install. Then uh, finish. Uh, and then go to media, convert slash save. And then add, add your video. And then convert slash save. And then choose H. 264 plus mp3 mp4 this one and destination file you should check your destination file and start i hope this helped if not you could try using the link below as i mentioned otherwise comment on this video and i'll try to help you and finally thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one